Not everything that protesters are leaving behind needs cleaning up. Some of it needs protecting. Denver 7 Sean Toll with that tonight. Sean? And we're out here at 10th and Broadway where there's actually a few murals going up right now at the moment, thanks to some talented artists and the help of a rainbow coalition. Art doesn't always have a rhythm, but it sometimes has a pattern. It was just gritting it out, gritting out what I could. Primed for expression. <laughs> have you ever heard that? Artist Carly Mariel is doing a few protest pieces. I mean, this is like George Floyd's portrait, right? She's done a few others in town, but had an issue while working on her last mural. And then all of a sudden I hear this big something hitting, like impact. But like two feet to my left. Someone had thrown a big cup full of ice and liquid at her while driving by. I mean, it's just one person out of so many, right? But it's still discrimination. We just reached out to the LGBT communities, to all the different groups, organizations, and uh, we had a really amazing uh, contribution from the community. So that contribution in the form of the Parasol Patrol. We're not a security force. We're not a politically motivated counter protest group or protest group. We just want to keep people safe. A colorful but silent shield of sorts and a calming presence for the LGBTQ community. Well, I feel very safe. I feel like I can paint. But they're not used to shielding artists. Normally, like I said, we shield kids. Speaking of kids. Do you guys like to paint? A group of them just happened to be walking by and added their own contribution. I love they were like, we're painting a rainbow ocean. That makes us feel good to be able just to brighten anyone's day. And they didn't even know it. They were participating in history, right? All trying to paint a brighter and more colorful future. It's not about any one of us. It's about all of us. Artwork in here, but I've got to like subtly now, as you can see, the mural is coming along rather nicely on what was a beautiful day earlier. Now it's starting to rain a little bit, but at least it's been very peaceful. Reporting live, Sean Toll, Denver 7.